Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today, we're going to talk about some of the favorite cars of my uh, lifetime. And one of those is the 911. And you say, well, Tony, I'm interested in a 911. I've never owned one, but I don't really understand them. And you'd be in the same place I was at one time, too. I loved muscle cars and performance cars and exotic cars. And I didn't really understand the 911 because the engine was way in the back, actually hanging over the, the rear axle. So it wasn't even mid-engine. Uh, it was like rear engine and uh, until I drove one. And when I drove one, man, it is a game changer. I don't know how they do it or what they do in here, but there is some formula in here that connects you to the road like no other. Then throw in a car like this that was expensive when it was new, right? In beautiful, beautiful original style condition, two owners, right? This is a 2003, we're doing the video in 2021, right? We're going on 20 years right now, thinking about that, heading to that place, right? With 27,000 miles on it, come on, man. This right here is a car that will continue to go up in value and say, well, Tony, how could it possibly go up in value? Well, check out uh, the past. These cars have been going up in value because today's 911, today's 911 is so expensive, right? Base price on one is like $104,000 for nothing for just a car, right? You want to add a Porsche Crest in the headrest. You want to add heated seats. You want to add an upgraded digital sound. You want to add some other items, right? Go to Carrera 4 like this. This is a Carrera 4, not a Carrera 2. You want to go to convertible, add more for that. And the next thing you know, it's $140,000. That's why these are such great values. All right, so I'd like to talk about quality of paint, right? Because uh, we've electronically metered this car, which is what you want done, right? Clean Carfax, two owner. That's what sets some other cars apart from other cars. And then we look at the quality of the paint here, and you can see it's nice and crisp. Seal gray is an amazing color, especially out in the sun. It is beautiful. One of the things that you'll notice too about a Carrera 4 is that the calipers are silver. They're not red and they're not uh, black, right? All four wheel drive cars get silver calipers, okay? And uh, like turbos will get red calipers or yellow calipers, but base cars get black calipers. Anyway, just a little tidbit that you can see there, upgraded 18 inch wheels. The last thing I wanna talk about before we go past the paint part is tires. You say, well, Tom, what do you care about tires? Well, what I care about tires is this, that when I'm buying a car and I see cheap tires on a car, I know that somebody was cheap on everything. When I see the most expensive tires you can get on a car like Michelin Pilots, I say to myself, this person loved this car and took care of it and put the best tire they could. Anyway, let's check the quality of the paint so you can see all the letters that are in there and uh, we'll look at that right now. All right, so, so one of the things that people talk about 911s is, and what makes them so great, is that they're daily driver exotics. So you say, like, what does that mean, right? Well, I could take it to the track on Sunday, and then I could drive to work on Monday, drop the kids off at school on Tuesday. It works just like that. Here you have room for storage here, it's nice soft bags, and they do a great job finishing off the engine compartment. All the stuff, the tools and jack and things like that's down below. The original spare tires in here, never been used. This right here uh, is has the gloves in it so you don't get your hands dirty if you ever had to change a tire. Like they've given some serious thought to that and there's a bag in there to put the tire in so you don't get the car dirty inside as well. I mean, they really have given a lot of thought to this. And when you close these hoods, because they're so light, right? You wanna close it like this. And when you close it, you just push your hand on the emblem here to finish it off, and that way you don't get handprints on your hood. My tip of the day. Okay, great, so we got our call out back here, Carrera 4 all-wheel drive system, right? Great sounding exhaust, um, and clean, clean, clean. Like, this is what you wanna be looking for, man. Everything in here is nice and bright. The original decals and stickers are in there, meaning that this parts haven't been crashed or replaced. Uh, and if you don't take care of your car, it's not low miles, it would never look this clean. There's nothing you could do to restore an engine compartment if it's not taken care of over time. So uh, that's easy. This right here, integrated rear wing, goes up around the 72 mile an hour mark. I can't remember, it's different for some years versus others, but this will come up, right? Give you a little bit more stability, which a lot of people don't know. Another tidbit right here is see this light? When this wing comes up, that gets blocked. However, inside here is another light and that goes ahead and takes over that. Nice little thought, right? Little, nice little touch. All right, so we talk about the user, usability of these cars and like being a daily driver exotic. So I like to show this back here. It's silly, but this is a four-seater car. You could see people back here in a pinch. Maybe I'm not riding to the beach four hours in the back here, but if you've got kids or you're just going to dinner or something like that, 
it works out great. If you don't want to do that, I usually fold these down and I turn it into a package shelf for my luggage. I throw my bags back there. This right here is rollover protection. These are roll bars built in. If the car tilts either way, these will pop up automatically, right, giving you some stability like a hard top would give you. Lastly, this right here is hard. This is the top of the convertible top, and when it folds down, right, it's hard right here, so it doesn't buff it and make that sound uh, and become really loud. And so everything is kind of finished. I, I, I just go on with it because of the thought and, and effort that goes into the detail. All right, so let's get inside here because really what you care about is what do you look like inside here, and let me tell you what it looks like. All right, so you, they, of course, put the tack in front of you, 8,000 RPM tack, uh, 200 mile an hour speedometer. Um, I've never been 200 miles an hour, so I don't really know if that works or not, so I'll let you report that back and tell me if it does. Um, and here's a kind of a cool piece that says, hey, I'm a product of the 2000s, right? This still has a CD player. They don't sell many CDs anymore. We're doing this video in 2021. Uh, but it does have uh, a nice feature where it has paddles for shifting the transmission quickly if you wanted to. So if you wanted to engage in it, you could. Uh, you can even do a manual like this um, and uh, have the best of both worlds. We have automatic and like an F1 style paddle shifter. This has climate control. Um, poor stability management, of course, power top, and all the other great uh, luxury features you would expect in an exotic sports car. All right, so we're closing up the video on what I think is a really, really exceptional, exceptional value, deal, great looking sports car, right? We're talking about a C4 Cabriolet, right? It's already expensive when it was new. And then throw in two owners, super low miles, great colors, great condition, and just an awesome, awesome sounding car. Anyway, if you wanted to get a great sports car in your life that didn't cost you a gazillion dollars, this is definitely, definitely the way to go. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 911 C4 Cabriolet. And if you would, please share this video with some friends, and if you would like it at the bottom there, that would help out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. we got a lot more content coming, and each time we get something, it'll come to you.